What's up YouTube? This is the Gaming File. We're coming back at you with another pickup video. This one's a very special Super Nintendo edition. Um, you know me, I love the Super Nintendo. It's my favorite system. Um, I got a whole stack over there. I plan to show you guys soon too. I'm going to make a sweet video for that. But uh, right now I got this sweet pickup. Um, it was actually from a local guy uh, in the area. He knew his stuff. Um, he had everything priced off PriceCharting.com, which I'm sure a lot of you guys know about. It's uh, you know pr a pricing website for video games. Um, if you don't know about it, check it out. It's really helpful when you're buying stuff. Um, but this guy had a whole bunch of uh, Super Nintendo stuff. I guess he was kind of liquidating half his collection. Um, I'm, I got super excited that I was one of the first people to get it because I lost out on a few games that I wanted, but I got a bunch that I really thought were sweet. So, um, anyways, without further ado, I'm kind of rambling now. Uh, I'll start with a couple of the pickups here. Uh, the first one is Animaniacs by uh, Konami. This one he charged me five dollars for. Um, I'm willing to get a Super Nintendo game for five bucks anytime. Uh, I gotta pull the other one out of the Super Nintendo. <laughs> but this is um, Five Goes West. Now this game is kind of... He charged me five bucks for this game too. It's a Hudson Soft game. Uh, it's strange. I don't know why this is so expensive. I, I mean it's a pretty cool platformer. Um, I don't want to say it's like Mega Man because that would be insulting Mega Man but you kind of go around with a blaster and it, it plays a bit like Mega Man. So, so it's pretty cool actually. I was just playing that. Um, I'm liking this game. Um, this is one that I needed to get for my collection. I don't know why I got it actually. It was $5. Um, Brain Lord. Um, apparently this game is not that good and it's not worth that much. But it's an Enix title that I didn't have and I thought that um, for $5 it, w it was a good deal. Um, now I'm going to show you guys uh, one thing that happened actually, a couple box games. Um, he told me he had Arrow the Acrobat and I'm trying to get one and two. And so he said he had Arrow the Acrobat and he said he checked in the box. Uh, he ends up opening the box and the manual, is everything's in it. But um, Arrow the Acrobat 2 is inside. So... Um, so I said, well, I'm looking for both of them anyway, like, can you just, so he get, he ended up giving me um, Arrow the Acrobat 2 and the box for one for 10 bucks, so I thought that was a good deal, because uh, this alone is like 10 to 15, so that was a good deal. Um, he had a couple of empty boxes as well, he gave me that one, but a couple other ones I'll show you guys real quick. Um, first is... Power Pigs of the Dark Age. Um, this is a Titus game. I've never played this, and I'm not sure if it's any good. So um, you guys let me know in the comments if it's any good, but I have the box for it now. He actually threw in the boxes, which was really nice. Just gave them to me for free. So um, The next one is this. Kid Clown in Crazy Chase. Um, I've actually watched... Uh, videos on YouTube of this game and um, it looks kind of cool. It's like an isometric um, platformer. Um, this is the box and manual like in perfect condition so that was really cool to get. Um, can't wait to get my hands on that game. And the last box he had was this one which was a sweet box. Uh, Lost Vikings 2. Um, I love Lost Vikings 1 uh, Blizzard title and uh, I have not played this one, so I don't know if it's good, but um, but I know it's a two-player game, and, and it's like the first one, so so I I'll, I'll can't wait to find the uh, the actual cart to, to fill this in with. That would be sweet. A um, couple more. Oh, yeah, there's one more cartridge here. Sorry, guys. I got everything over. Uh, this was an awesome find. <laughs> Joan Mac 2, Lost in the Tropics. I used to rent this game... And I used to love this game so much. Um, I have Joan Mac 1. And I remember when I picked it up, I thought it was the game I always rented from the video store. But it wasn't. It's this one that I always rented. So I've always been on the, uh, on the hunt for this one. Um, 
This one's a lot better. It's kind of got uh, RPG elements to it. It's a bit strange. Like you can deck out your hut and um, you can buy items and power-ups like in the overworld and then you go to each level by kind of walking over this overworld. It's a bit different but uh, it's still got the two-player like awesome um, adventure aspect like the first one does. So he charged me $20 for this and I think that was very very fair for this game. Um, it was in great condition too so Really excited to get that when I was playing that too. <laughs> That's sweet. Um, and the next two I got, uh, here's another one. I got, um, this one was complete in box. He charged me 10 bucks for this. Uh, he was using price charting, but he was using it, um, he wasn't checking the complete in box prices. So he was charging me loose prices for the games, but some of them had the box and instructions. So, so that was... That's where I got kind of away with the steel, I think. Uh, Magic Boy is another platformer. I haven't popped it in, to be honest yet, but um, it looks pretty neat. I was looking at it on the back here. Um, Magic Boy, I don't know if you guys can see that. But uh, it looks pretty neat, and it's kind of uncommon, because I looked it up, and there's only a couple sales per year on eBay, which is strange. Um, so this might be one to look out for, I'm not sure. Um, so that was cool, complete in box, that one. And this one, sweet. I love this pickup here. This was an amazing find. I couldn't, well, I was going to pick it up cartridge only for what I paid for it, but it was complete in box. I had no idea when he showed up it was complete. That is Sparkster. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but this is the sequel to Rocket Knight Adventures, uh, which was a sweet, awesome game, awesome game. It was only for Genesis. Um, you could get Sparkster and Rocket Knight for Genesis, but Sparkster only came out for uh, Super NES. The, uh, or I'm getting confused with my words here, but what I meant to say is that Sparkster is... Um, this version came out on Super NES as well as Genesis, but uh, really awesome game, Konami. Um, you can blast through levels. Some of them are, are kind of like shoot 'em up levels. Uh, the rest is platforming that you use your, your saber that you can, you can shoot uh, like powers with man it's this game is really awesome and uh, I got this game for fifty dollars so uh, it was basically the price of the cartridge but it was complete in box it's got the manual and everything I don't want to open it right now it's not perfect condition but uh, but still I can't complain it's, it's freaking sweet deal um, and at the end of this video I want to do a bit of an unboxing too um, package time <laughs> this is an eBay package I got from from a seller in the states uh, really hard to get games up here that are a good deal because the shipping usually co costs as much as the game or twice so so I don't know this one ended up being an awesome deal I paid eleven dollars shipping in for this and you guys are gonna see what it is in a minute <laughs> uh, hint it's another Super NES game <clears throat> I had my eye on this game for a long time, and I'll check the condition of it too. This is, it's a strange, strange game. <laughs> Spanky's Quest. Uh, this is a Natsume game, and um, if you're a collector, I think you have your eye on Natsume games, because they're, they're kind of obscure, and um, they didn't make too many of them. You know, like Pocky and Rocky and those types of games? Um, this is a super strange puzzle kind of, I don't know, it's, it's like a puzzle platforming game. I think there's over 50 levels where you kind of just keep going and you have a strange, I don't know, you have to watch videos. I'll put one up here for you so you can check it out. But, uh, this was a great deal, I think. Sometimes there's good deals on eBay and this was a time where it is one. Um, this one doesn't have the manual, unfortunately. Um, but... It has the um, the game and the box, so it's got a bit of a sticker there that I'm gonna have to take off. But um, this was cool to get, eleven bucks shipped, so you can't complain. <laughs> I get a lot of Super Nintendo games with a box for that, but um, I'm pretty sure this one's gonna go up in value. Keep your eye on this one too. Um, as always, guys, thanks for subbing. You're friggin' awesome. You're sweet. Um, 
I love all the comments. You guys are being real helpful, real awesome. Um, this is going to be one of the last videos in this room, actually. I'm moving my game room to the basement. And um, I'm going to be do a little montage for you guys. I've been taking pictures and stuff, what I've been doing down there. And it's going to be um, pretty much a man cave for gaming. Uh, I think you'll be pretty excited to see. It's going to be sweet. But uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, I'm going to do a 300 sub special too, guys. Um, I know I've been, I've been due for one. So uh, thanks again. Thanks so much. Uh, you guys are awesome. This is The Game and File. And peace out for now. Mario. You'll find the Super Set is like no other system. Uh, in performance, handling, and mode 7 control, you'll get Super Mario World. And for 350 in postage, Super Mario All-Stars free with four Mario games in one. Mario.